Now we already know then that f of n is equal to 2 to the power n plus 6 to the power n and we proved in an earlier part that f of k plus 1 equals 6 f of k minus 4 multiplied by 2 to the power k and we've got to prove then that f of n is divisible by 8. So we do this by induction and so we need to show that it's true first of all when n equals 1. So we'll just put that down that when n equals 1. What do we have for f of 1? Well f of 1 will be equal to 2 to the power 1, we'll just put that in, plus 6 to the power 1 which clearly is equal to 8 and is divisible okay is divisible by 8 so it certainly works when n equals 1 now we assume true for n equals some particular value which we'll call k so assume true for n equals k in other words f of k is divisible by 8 f of k being 2 to the power k plus 6 to the power k and we'll put is divisible by 8 okay so what we have got to prove now is that is f of k plus 1 going to be true so we try this for n equals k plus 1 so if we look at f of We'll put now f of k plus 1. We've got to show that it's divisible by 8. Well, we've got this part here. Obviously, that had to play a role in this question, and here it does. Okay, so we can copy that in, that now f of k plus 1 equals 6 lots of f of k minus 4 multiplied by 2 to the power k. Now, we can see that f of k is divisible by 8 but what about this term if we can make this term clearly divisible by 8 then 8 would be a common factor of these two terms and so therefore f of k plus 1 would be divisible by 8 well it's quite easy to do here let's just put the first term down but here we can think of this as minus 4 multiplied by 2 because this is 2 to the power k if we take out one of the 2's from 2 to the power k then we've got 2 to the power k minus 1 there and so we've got 6 lots of f of k minus 4 times 2 is 8 multiplied by 2 to the power k minus 1 so we see now that yep the first term is divisible by 8 because f of k we have said is divisible by 8 and the second term has now got 8 as a common factor so therefore 8 will be the common factor across both these terms and it's going to be divisible by 8 we just need to say that so we'll come down here so we've got that since f of k is divisible by 8 and 8 multiplied by 2 to the power k minus 1 is divisible by 8 then f of k plus 1 is divisible by 8. So therefore, true for n equals k plus 1. So we can wind up by now saying that therefore, since true for n equals 1, it must therefore be true for all n, which are positive integers so we'll just write that as z plus okay